Welcome to another episode of our King's Kids online experience. We are so happy to see you today. We are gonna have an amazing lesson today and such a great time with you. But first, we have to start our time with prayer, of course. So are you ready? Let's bow our heads, close our eyes, and let's pray. God, we thank you for today. God, I thank you for this time that we get to spend with our friends who are near and far, who are here and there. God, would you bless them? We pray that you bless this time and just allow us to have fun and learn so much about you. In Jesus' name we pray and everyone says, Amen. Well, it is time for worship, so get ready to worship. Please stand up. Nothing? Hey guys! Oh, hi! 
it's game time. But today, we're gonna do something a little different just to spice it up. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, you ready? I don't know. All right, so yes! what we're gonna do is we want you to have a tournament at your house with whoever is there. Auntie, uncles, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, whoever you got, dog. brothers, sisters. Uh, I wonder, I don't know if a dog can play this one, but maybe if you have a really talented dog, you might be able to. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we want you guys to have a tournament playing, da 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 da, what game? Junk and pole. Junk and pole. Or, what's it called? I thought it was called, I don't know what it was called. Uh, we always rock, call it rock, paper, paper scissors. scissors. That's what it's That's called. That's what I grew up calling rock, it on Rock, paper, scissors. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Are you ready? So, you're <laughs> gonna play against everyone in your family and see who is the ultimate champ. So today, it's just between me and Edson. Oh, man. Are you ready? Who do you think is gonna win? Are you ready? Yeah, all right, ready? Rock, paper, scissors. Oh! <laughs> Okay, sorry, do it again. That's not how you play. Ours is junk and Okay, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot okay, yeah. got it. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah, oh, okay, that's one out of three, she got me. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, we tied. Oh. We tied on that one. Yay! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> Another tie. One more time. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> okay, you get the drill. This might take us a really long we time. We did the line. But we wanna see how fast you can beat everybody in your family. All right, I think we can give them a minute today. Let's give them a minute. We're gonna give you a minute. Have fun. We can't wait to see who wins. Take a picture or or a video of you guys like challenging each other and post it I'm at KC Oahu Kings Kids on Instagram and Facebook because we want to see who's gonna win and we gotta figure out who's gonna win on ours. All right, jump in. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Jen. Hey, Court. Oh, no. What? You look so sad. Well, you know, I was thinking about the holidays. It's Thanksgiving. Right. And Christmas. Christmas. And I know I should be really happy. Because mm -hmm. I love these holidays. They're so much fun. But we normally spend them with family. Yeah. And my family's kind of, I don't live near my family. I have to fly to get to them. Oh, and we yeah. normally travel to see them. Oh, right. But this year, it's not as easy to fly. It's not. And travel, so it's I'm just not. feeling kind of down about it. I'm gonna miss them. Oh, I get that. And I was just getting ready to talk to Jesus about it and, and pray. Oh, well, the good news is that Jesus is the best person to tell when we're feeling sad, or feeling disappointed, or even if we're feeling hurt. Yeah. Yeah, he's the best because he wants to help make you feel better. Good. He wants to give you this thing called peace. Oh, God. Good. Yeah. Peace. That reminds me of a story in the Bible. Have you heard of Lazarus? Yes. But, it, but he died. He did die. The story seems a little sad, but it's got a good ending. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay, so there's this guy named Lazarus, and he had two sisters, Mary and Martha. And they were all really good friends with Jesus. They were like modern day BFFs. I get it. Right, so they were super close. Jesus would go to their house all the time. But Jesus, because we know he traveled and he preached to so many different people in so many different places, 
Well, while he was gone on one of his trips, Lazarus got sick. Oh, like that's what happened. Like, really sick. And Mary and Martha, like they were like they were trying to get word to Jesus to come back because they want they knew they knew that if Jesus came back, he could heal Lazarus and Lazarus would be okay for sure. But Jesus didn't come back in time. Oh, no. I know it seemed really bad. Lazarus died, and by the time Jesus got back, Lazarus had already been like in the tomb, meaning like they already had his funeral and everything. He'd already been in the tomb for three days. Three days? That's a long time to be dead. Yes. Yes. So Mary and Martha were so hurt. They were, well, they were even a little upset with Jesus, which... I see that. That can happen. I like, could understand being a little upset. upset. Like, why did COVID happen? Like, it's ruined so much this year. Like, we don't get to hang out with all of our friends at church. We, I mean, we get to do this, which is good, but it's just, it's hard not to be upset. It's kind of disappointing. It's so disappointing. But there's good news. Yes. Okay. We need good news. We always need good news, and Jesus is the best good news. So even though Lazarus had been dead for three days, like he'd already been buried for three days, which by buried, I mean, the tomb was more so like a cave that they would put like a big rock in front of so you couldn't like so they would be closed off um but jesus he went to the tomb and he said lazarus come forth meaning he spoke to the dead body he spoke to a dead body and you know what happened what lazarus came hopping out no way yes so imagine he's like you remember, well, we just had Halloween, so have you seen mummies, like how they're wrapped in what looks like toilet paper all the way from their head, all the way down to their feet, and they're just kind of like this? So he had to hop out. At least that's how I imagine it. Just imagine hopping out in a bandage with maybe just like one eye being able to see. That's how I see it in my head. I don't know if that's what happened, but it makes a good story. So <laughs> Jesus is calling him out, he's like... Yep, exactly. He's just hopping out. That's great. Great. And Mary and Martha realized that Jesus is going to make things better. He can oh. give us a peace. He can bring um, healing to our situations, whatever it may look like. So even though we may not be able to be with our families, because I know fam my family is on mainland, so I'm not even close to them. And I know that you get to spend all the holidays with them and you, you might not get to this year. Yeah. And it's so hard. But there is a scripture that kind of, it might help. Good. Do you want to hear it? I love, yes, I do. Okay, do you guys want to hear it? I need all the help. I'm going to say you do. Okay, so it's in John 14, 27. John it's, 14, 27. It's one of my favorite scripture verses. And it says, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. So that's Jesus speaking. And he's saying, you know, my peace, it's different than what the world can give you. My peace is going to make you feel kind of almost calm. I think calm is like a good word to describe peace. It's almost like I should be really worried about this situation. I should be really upset about this situation. But you know what? I'm not. I kind of think that that's kind of what peace is. It's like you're not really worried about it. And that's the kind of peace that God can give us. Because God is greater than all of our hurt and our troubles and our sadness and our disappointments. Thank you, Auntie Courtney. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for that scripture, for that story about Lazarus. I am going to just pray and ask God for that peace so that I'm not sad. Mm -hmm. And I bet he has something super fun planned for us right here where we're at anyway. Probably. I so. mean, we might not be with our, like, our real family, but we're family. Yeah. We're, 
we, we got each other. We do. And I'm going to pray for you guys too. Thank you. Yes. All right. Wow. What a good time we had today. I mean, I had a good time. I'm pretty sure you had a good time. Or at least I hope you had a good time because I had such a good time. All right. So thank you so much for joining us. We miss you so much. It hurts how much we miss you. So we need you guys to be posting stuff. We need you to post on our Instagram and our Facebook so that all of us kids leaders can see your beautiful faces and we can miss you just a little bit less. Okay, so you know the drill. Post the game, the rock, paper, scissors challenge or junk and poe, I think is what you guys call it here. I'm not really sure, um, but we wanna see who's gonna win. All right, so make sure that you're posting a video or, or maybe the picture saying, oh, I am the champ. Me and Minister Jen, we, we had to keep going because we, could, we kept doing the same thing and uh, we just think too much alike, so it's crazy. Okay, but we wanna see who's gonna win in your family. And then we have the memory verse. It's a little long, but it's so good because it says that Jesus is telling us, don't be upset. Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Not like the world can give you because the world isn't the same as Jesus. It's not as good. Um, but don't be troubled. Don't let your heart be troubled and don't be afraid. That's what he's telling us. He wants us to trust in him and he's gonna give us peace that maybe we can't understand completely, but we know that we're gonna feel better because we're trusting in him. And that's what's important. And that's what we wanna be teaching you guys because it's so, Good. All right, well, you know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna tell you the same thing I always tell you. We love you and we miss you and you gotta stay tuned because you never know what's gonna happen. And I'm gonna see you guys next time. Bye. Love you.